and the men of Jesus. There is power in the men of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is love in the men of Jesus. There is love in the name of Jesus, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is life in the name of Jesus. There is life. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. How's it sounding? Is it rough or not? Yeah. It's got a. It's got a. Uh, 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 Oh, 
to life in the blood of the Lamb. And there is love, love, no wonder to love in the blood of the Lamb. And there is joy, joy, wonder to joy in the blood of the Lamb. And there is joy, joy, Hi folks, we're here today to share the gospel. When I survey that wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, the Prince of Glory died on that cross. The Son of God, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords died on that cross. And he didn't die for any other reason than he died for sinners and he died for you and me. When he died on that cross, he died on that cross for you and me. He says God demonstrates his own love to us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died on that cross, shed his blood on that cross. Then if you want to be right with God, if you want to be with God and know God, know that Jesus Christ died for you. That he died on that cross. The Son of God was whipped and beaten. The Son of God was laughed at and mocked at. The Son of God shed his blood for you on that cross. And if you want to know God and be right with God, then you go to that cross. If you want to know God and be right with God, you go to that cross. If you want to know why you're here and what your purpose is in life, then go to that cross and know that the blood was shed for you. That blood was shed, the cross, there, the blood was shed, there they beat him, there they mocked him, there they laughed at him, and there they crushed him. And as they crushed him, he was being crushed on that cross for you and me. He was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. And when he died on that cross, he was dying for you and me. And if you want to go home to heaven, if you want to be with God, then remember that Christ shed his blood to pay that debt for you to be set free. And if you want to be set free today, and know the joy of the Lord, know that you are saved, know that you're going to heaven, know that you're born again, know that you are going to heaven, then you go to that blood and know that blood was shed for you. Only by the cross, only by the blood of the Lamb, not by any religion, not by philosophy, not by any ideas of man. The only way to heaven is when John the Baptist said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. And Christ took the sin of the world. He took it upon himself and laid down his life to set you free today. He loved you and died for you today. So come to Jesus today and know the life of God. Know the joy of the Lord. Know the peace of God in your life. Know that you can be saved today. Know that you can have the joy of the Lord in your life. There is a meaning to life. There is a purpose to your life. You're not here to smoke wacky wacky, you're not here to take spice, you're not here to get drunk, you're not here to gossip, you're not here to play games, you're not here for any other reason than to bring glory to God and to live for God in your life. And to know that God has rescued you by coming and dying, sir. You. Sir, you've dropped something there, sir. And coming to die for you on that cross and shed his blood for you on that cross. That is the only reason you were put here. And God wants to bring you home. It's time to come home to your God. It's time to come home to your Savior today. It's time to come home to Jesus. And know that he died on that cross. And the only way to heaven is in him. The only way to heaven is Jesus. The only way to heaven is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. For he is the Son of God who loved you. The Son of God who died for you. The Son of God who shed his blood. Pay the debt for you, every sin that you did wrong, everything that you did wrong. He paid the debt and was crushed for you. <coughs> the wrath of God fell upon Christ. 
And there on that cross, he was crushed for you. And if you want to know God, you come to that blood. And you say, Lord, forgive me, and he'll forgive you. And if you come, you'll be forgiven. If you come, you'll be cleansed. If you come, you'll be washed in the blood. If you come, you'll be forgiven in Jesus. If you come, you'll be okay. But if you reject him, then there's only judgment in hell. Only hell. For God is a consuming fire, and God is a holy God, and if we reject, I say, okay. Any thoughts or questions? Yes, yes, so, uh, I can try to some. Yeah. The only thing I don't understand is, um, like, with the Bible or whatever. Yes, yes. How come, like, it's, like, read every year? Every year, well, that, that's traditions have come in, but the main thing is, is John 3.16. It says this, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And what he's saying is, when Jesus came, the Son of God, when they arrested him, and they spat at him, anything you ever did wrong, instead of God sending you to hell, as Jesus is being spat at, he's taking your punishment that you should have had from God. He's standing in your place. When they whipped him, he was being whipped for you. When they lifted him up on the cross and nailed him to that cross, he was being nailed for you. So when he died on that cross, everything you and I have ever done wrong, instead of God sending you and me to hell, he punished his own son. And that's why he says, for God so loved the world, he loved you, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have a blessing. And if we confess our sin and trust Jesus, then we become saved. Yes, and, and when there are a disciple or a saint who uh, didn't believe that and said it was see that holes in his That's hands. it, that's Thomas, Thomas, yep, that's Thomas. <coughs> Sorry, I've not been well for a week. But the point is, my friend, is that this world is passing away and God wants a relationship with you. And it's really important that you seek Him while you can and find Him while you can. And I'm offering you the gospel that God wants to give you, and that is that Jesus is for you. And it requires of you to be honest and say, well, yeah, I need that forgiveness. And that, Lord, will you be my Savior? And that's the main issue. Yeah? And then, want to talk about anything else, come and have a chat. That's the main thing. Whether you're in the Catholic Church, Anglican Church, or any church, the first step is to have faith in Jesus yourself. What's the difference between the Church of England, Roman Catholic, and Catholic? <laughs> well, like they're all the same, it's all the same part. No, well, the thing is, it, the early church, and the early church fathers, they started off well, but then there was a guy called Constantine, and he kind of set up a state church, and that's like became the Catholic church. So what happened is religion and politics came together. So the Catholic Church over time moved away from the Bible and, and started to have traditions. So you had the Pope who became the head of the church rather than Christ. And the Pope and religious leaders and the state, the kings and emperors would make doctrinal teaching and impose it on the church. And that yeah. became tradition. Now in the Protestant reformers Luther and Calvin and these early church before these thing, they said, no, we need to get back to the Bible. So they went back to the Bible. And the other thing as well is, they didn't think it was just right that the, the, the uh, bishop should have control. They believed that every individual should have the right to read the Bible. But it was in Latin, and nobody could read Latin. So Germany, Luther translated the German Bible for the Germans. Tyndale in England translated it for the English. So they began to get the Bible from Latin into the languages. So then, uh, Henry VIII, who wanted to have other women in England, decided it wasn't a good thing to be with the Catholic Church, and he split, and that's how the Church of England started, away from that. But before that was happening, underneath there was already uh, things changing. People were trying to get back to the Bible. So in the top and bottom is, 
there's been changes in politics and uh, religion over the years, but the main division today is those who want to follow the Bible, trust in Jesus, believe the Bible is to be preached in the church, taught in the church, that Jesus is the Son of God, that he rose again. It's that, or that and other things added, traditions. So like tradition like worshipping Mary and honouring Mary, it's a tradition. You know, it's just coming out of tradition. Making the Pope the head is a tradition. The Pope's not the head, Jesus is the head. So that's that's where the differences are. Yeah. <clears throat> so the, the main foundation is, 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 do we trust in the Lord Jesus? Do we believe the Bible? And uh, are we going to follow his word? You know? uh, and those are some of the main things. And, and not yeah. man's traditions. You know? um, how long are you going to be like here? Like this? Uh, well, I'll be, I'll be here for about half an hour, but that's my website. If you want to go on my website, yeah. And uh, if you want to know about more about just studying the Bible, there's lots of testimonies and Bible teaching, all sorts of things, if you want to explore. Yeah. All right. God bless you. Thank you. And uh, what's your name? John. John, I'm, I'm here most, most weeks, you'll find me, either here or over there, John. If you need a Bible or anything, all right? God bless Thank you, John. Yeah. Thank you.